but he's listening. It's like, give me this. Yes, well, um, yeah, I think it should be more of a personal expression rather than a conform sort of style. I'll be brutally honest here. Like, I see a lot of people just pulling off the same moves as everyone else, and, like, I don't really see that as an expression. I just, you know, you could, I like innovative... I like people being innovative, you know, like producers being innovative with what they write. Pushing boundaries is really good, you know, like, and I suppose people just dancing like everyone else isn't so good, you know. The shuffle's good as long as it's not just the same old moves as everyone else is doing. The encouragement's really done on the dance floor because it doesn't really matter if you know someone. Just looking at someone, big thumbs up or fucking oh bro, really shows, you know. I see someone that I think that they're dancing awesome. I'll go dance next and they're like, fucking, you going off, man, that's all good. <laughs> People love getting complimented on how they dance and, um, yeah, it just makes you feel good about yourself and you just, you, you want to dance more and... It's not one particular dance you have to do. Everyone does their own thing. It's a freedom of expression for people who don't get to go out and play their music through DJing or put on their parties through promotion so um, it's definitely something that I think we're going to see continue and, and become even stronger in the Melbourne club scene. Oh, I love dancing. Um, you really express who you are and how you feel through dancing and that's a fantastic thing and Melbourne Shuffle were unique. And it's great, everyone's in their lines, we're not interrupted and it just looks fantastic from no matter which way you're standing. Dancing is just a form of self-expression. I love, I love to dance. I'm lucky I'm coordinated, but I'm not the kind of person to sit back and look at someone who might just be going like this and going, eh, you can't dance, because when you're out there on the floor, in your zone, listening to the music, it's not about anyone else anyway. Like, it's just about the music and rocking. Everybody's equal on the dance floor. Anyone that has that rhythm in their body should be on the dance floor showing their moves. For me, the best thing about dancing is just being able to express yourself through the music and to let the music move you. Um, I think it's become very much its own culture over the last few years with the Melbourne Shuffle and, and with Candy, but for me it's still very much about a self-expression um, and what the music does for you, whether it be through the Melbourne Shuffle or just through you moving your body to, to how the music makes you move. I reckon it's more an expression of the music, the way it can move somebody, the way the body interprets these sounds in some movements. Yeah, uh, we got approached uh, from overseas to uh, supply the um, candy shufflers. Um, and at the time, I think the sh most shufflers last for a year or two, unfortunately the footage they'd seen was about two years old. Um, so we had to come up with a whole lot of new shufflers so we come up with the idea of running a competition and um, you know we had judges that would score people and find a unique style of dancing and we chose people that were slightly different. I think we didn't actually have any idea how big the shuffle was in Asia until we got over there and Scott came back with lots of feedback and they were just all blown away and it was a, a big eye-opener for the shufflers as well because they had their own stage and they were all dancing and they were as big as any of the DJs who were over there and some of the DJs there were in the top 25 in the world so I think it was really humbling for our shufflers to realise how big they actually are and they had they were there just dancing and they were part of the main act. When some of the DJs were on stage, the crowd were actually facing the shufflers and turned around and they were looking at them. We were talking about the Melbourne Shuffle and I think the thing that uh, sort of shocked me about it more than anything was the Tulpan powder. That, that, I just couldn't understand that, that, that kind of blew my mind. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's taken me a year to adjust and whatever, but I've, got, I've kind of learned this, the Melbourne Shuffle isn't just about the talcum powder. There are actually some moves there. You walk into a nightclub and usually the smell of stale beer and cigarettes and all that kind of stuff 
wakes you up and you go, oh yeah, well, I'm not home now, I know where I am. And, uh, but you walk into clubs in Melbourne and you go, baby, baby. baby. <laughs> Johnson. And but, what the fuck is going on now? Where the hell are we? What are we supposed to be doing? And um, so it's all a little bit strange. Dancing on a sticky floor, oh God. Um, very aggravating because, you know, you, you go to do a side shuffle or something and you get halfway and you fall over. Learn to shuffle or you can become a sweaty mother cokehead and you know and I, either way I mean you got two choices <laughs> we took the positive outlook you watch them and you learn and then you practice where you don't you don't mind practicing whether it's at home whether it's somewhere not seen and if you don't care you practice right there and then what is best in life crush your enemies see them driven before you the yellow lamentation of the women Practice, practice. That's what I did. When I first started going out, I was crap. And yeah, I know, but still, the more you practice, the better you get, the more confidence you get, and you're not afraid of doing it in the big crowd. It's true. And everyone helps each other, and that way everyone gets better together. And before you know it, some young little kid rips something out that's three times better than you, and he makes you go and practice three times as hard. The way I started like learning how to shuffle is I used to watch everyone else dance and I like their moves and what I do is I go home and I crank my music up and I feel just like they're dancing and then you really feel into your groove and then it's like, yeah, I've got my stuff, I've got my steps and then you just go rip them out on the floor and everyone's like, yeah. Watching, watching's the key. Um, just basic shuffling and then like you add to it, it's like you get more confident, you can add more styles to it. You pick up from watching other people, or they'll stand there and they'll show you, help you out. But watching is really, and in the mirror too, like you watch yourself in the mirror and you're just rocking around and, yeah. Hold on. What is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and the yellow lamentation of the women. I wasn't really a, a dancer so much um, and, until I started going clubbing. And when I when I went clubbing and and met other people that were dancing, I just you just sort of copy each other and you learn from what everyone else is doing. And back then, there wasn't really a name for it. It was just the way everyone danced around here. So you just you just sort of cotton on after a while and then and then get into it. If someone from Melbourne goes over to the UK, um, you just get picked up straight away within about five minutes, and everyone just sort of gravitates towards you and says, "G'day, hi, are you from Melbourne?" I bet. Uh, it's it's just. It's just a bit of good fun and everyone likes to dance like that, so why not, eh? He went over to this guy and went, Those bros are from Melbourne, are you? And he was like, Yeah, yeah. He was so happy. Happy before.